Hey guys, it's Luch and I'm with my friend Jesse. Now Jesse's not a native Minnesotan and you moved here three years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we want to know what your first impression was of the Minnesota State Fair. What stuck out to me the most the first year was definitely the Dairy Queens. Yes. The sculptures of heads from butter. Yes. And do you think that uh, that would be an honor? Like, would that be something you'd like to sit for? And I would love that. Yeah, actually, it would be kind of cool. <laughs> okay, and overwhelming amount of people eating, um, and that didn't freak you out at all? Mm, no, I, I love, Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday. Okay, good, okay, good. <laughs> and then, um, if you had to rank things, are you an animal person, a rides person? Ooh. I would say Seed art is my <gasps> number good. one. Yeah. I love that. I think I want to submit next year. Yeah. Uh, seed art, the vegetable, like 4 H competition. Yes. I love that. And this year I saw the draft horses with their like really ornate carriages behind them. I loved that. Yeah. That okay. I worked at the fair, including this job and previous radio jobs, like 20 years in a row every day. So I don't have to go out to the <laughs> fair, and I'm actually kind of okay with that. But one thing that I used to marvel at is that the NPR booth is right behind the CARE 11 barn mm -hmm. and about four o'clock every day you'd hear this scream like Shea Stadium 1969 the Beatles and you'd think is Bono being helicoptered in and no it was for the weather guy it's like he's a rock star and it's very charming and midwestern and people are very happy to go out to the fair to watch TV that's something I've never gotten my head around. Okay, so this year you went once just so far. Yeah. Okay, and did you have like specific things then you knew you wanted to do? I knew I wanted the dill pickle beer. Okay. How was that? Great. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Uh, I watched the log rolling. Log rolling? What is that? You stand on a log. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lumberjacky yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and stop by the Butter Princess to say hi. Oh, and the birthing yes. center. Yes. I love the birthing yes. center. So yes. cute. <laughs> the, the Miracle of Birth Barn is a, a highlight too because. There's always one 7,000 pound sow <laughs> with like just laying on her side, like, oh God, make this be over. Again, the, the state fair to an outsider's eyes, do you feel now you're, you're becoming one of us? I'm in. You're in. Yeah, you're I know the appropriate amount of cheese curds to eat without okay. getting sick. Very fine. Okay, so there, you've got Jessie. She's uh, sort of a fresh set of eyes to the Minnesota State Fair. If, if you were like me, though, and a person who maybe wasn't in love with crowds, mm -hmm. is there one place that you think anyone could go that they wouldn't have mm. a panic attack? You know, actually, the Coliseum where I watch the horses. Okay. It's usually, like, pretty chill in there. It's shaded, not too loud. I okay. like it in there. Great Minnesota get-together ends on Labor Day.